Hello and welcome to another surprise episode of Tidy X. Well, actually, I clicked stop recording and I decided to end the video a little bit earlier on the one that we recorded on Sunday. So we had an additional table we wanted to go over, which was calculating wind probability across the seeds. Uh, I got a little, little, I got excited, I guess, and. You were excited to watch football. <laughs> yeah. You wanted to, you wanted to start I am. watching it's, football. It's about to start in, ten, in, in a bit here. Exactly. So, exactly. so, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to quickly run through this one. You get a little surprise uh, extra video that's going to be coming out so or that you're watching now. So let's quickly get this thing going. All righty. So it's the same sort of stuff that we were doing in the prior uh, bit. So we've got our um, libraries here, Tidyverse, Tidy Tuesday R, Reactable. Uh, we don't really touch any more on GG Ridges, Sparkline, or Page Table. That was from the last episode. So let's uh, quickly load up everything in there. We're now going to load in the data set here using TT load, set the date, get that TT object, which prints off the, uh, the readme here. We're going to extract the NCAA. Sorry, I'm going through this real quickly. We did that in the last episode. I don't think you need to hear me talk more about that. But we're now going to do uh, calculate wind probabilities. So Patrick, do you want to you want to take us through this thing? Yeah. So uh, we take that NCAA data set that we just pulled in, and first thing that we're going to do is we're going to count the seeds and the tournament finishes. So where the tournament where the teams finished relative to the seed, we're going to get a count of that, and then we're going to call in this mutate function, which um, basically all we're going to do here is set the factor levels for the um, for the different tournament uh, uh, finishes. So mm -hmm. these are relative to where, so first, for example, is first round. These are relative to where the team went out in the tournament. First round, second round, RSF, RF. Uh, re so that's regional, semifinal, regional, final, mm -hmm. national, semifinal. Uh, second runner up, runner up. So basically, you made it to the last two, and you were the uh, first team, or the last team, second last team to go out, mm -hmm. and then the champion, right? Yeah. Okay. So we take that information, we group by the seed. So one through six, uh, one through sixteen seed. So each of the four, the thirty-two teams, each of the four regions has sixteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we calculate a percentage. So within each seed now. We're taking the n number of tournament finishes divided by the total tournament finishes within that seat. And that gives us this NCAA wins probability table, which is in a long format. So we can see, for example, if you were a one seed, of all the one seeds that have played in the tournament, 0.7% of them, which is one, have gone out in the in the uh, in the first round and uh, conversely 28 of them or 18.8 call it 19 percent um went on to actually be the tournament champion so we have this in a long format to put it into our page table we need to spin it out to wide right so we have our ncaa table we're going to select the tournament finish and the um, percent column those are the only two columns we need we're going to filter out OR. That was a some sort of it was some sort of way that you got knocked out of the tournament in one year, like 1983 or some like random random event. I don't need, mm -hmm. entirely know what. I don't know what was going on with that year, but yeah, that, there was a note in the data set that said, yes. in this year, this is how they did it or how they yeah. how they marked it. But. it was something weird. So we got we just it was better to get rid of that and, and leave yeah. it as is. Um, then we pivot wider. So I'm going to take the names from tournament finish. So that's the tournament finish factors that we created. Those are going to become our new column names. And underneath each of those is going to be the respective values that are the percentages. So we're going to have that in there. Yep. All right. Select uh, seed. Uh, what was this? So this is this is the uh, like R laying or the not. not not non-standard evaluation, right. but the tidy eval, which is super weird. But basically what this is saying is let this evaluate first before wow. you try to do anything. So what I'm trying to do is with this select, order the columns to be in the order in which they would finish. So with championship being on the furthest right here and first falling out first on the furthest left other Got than it. seed. So 
So what this is saying is I want to look at the NCAA table tourney finish and get the levels out of it because it's a factor. Because it's uh, a factor variable. Yeah, because yeah, if it spins it out, it'll turn it into a character, I think, or something. Yeah, and then it, and then it orders it based on character ordering, and that's not valuable Ooh, to us. Right. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So what we wanted to do here is is set that order to be you're out first, you're out second, you're national, semifinals, or uh, regional, regional, so... So it yeah, orders yeah. it that way. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, after we do that, we've got the data prepared now. We're ready to dump it into our reactable function. This is super easy and super fast. Literally, all we're going to do is we're going to say, these are what we want for the columns. And then we're going to pass a list. Uh, and within that list, we're going to define how we want each column to look. And we want each column to look essentially the same, which is we're going to use call def. We're going to say, I want the format of the column to be a percentage so percent equals true uh, and i want only one significant digit and anytime there's an na anytime there's a missing value just put this little hyphen in so that we can see that it's an empty uh empty cell mm -hmm. and here we go we oh and the default page size we're going to set to 16 so that we have essential essentially we have 16 every single seed so it doesn't go you know five and then six to ten and whatever yeah you know. this is so we see all of it at once correct yeah all righty let's Here run this go. boom boom let me uh let me export or it's not letting me zoom so let me save his web web page i wonder why the zoom isn't working i don't know uh when there we go cool so now we can see right across the if you were the one seed um the probability of of um, probability of going out in the national semifinal, given you were the one seed, is twenty three and a half percent. You can see it's a very low percentage of one seeds to go out in rounds one or two, uh, and then they obviously continue to carry on. What's also interesting is in the champs column, if you are anything but, but the three seed. Really, if you're anything but the two seed, it's like, whoa. <laughs> and really, if you're anything but the one seed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that's pretty crazy. Um, it, I wonder, it'd be cool if we had the men's data to see what distribution. Comparison. I, I feel Is like this... in the men's tournament, there's a lot more Cinderella stories that make it to the Sweet 16 or the Elite Eight or the Final Four. You know, you got like. Baylor, or not Baylor, uh, like Bucknell, or like these these random schools that kind of like all of a sudden just come out of nowhere. Make it, make it, like make it. They're playing playing above their skis, across their skis. Yeah, I think that's the same. Some some angry man in in a Vegas sports book is is screaming <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As they or like if you're soul. 16, if you're uh, ranked 16 or seated 16, the probability yeah. or most teams are out. In yeah, the first probability round. of going out in the first round, given your 16th seed, 16 seed is about. So, yeah, so this 99%. would this would somewhat indicate that there's like a consolidation of uh, of skill, or no, that and talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. which yeah. makes sense because if you're a winning program, the best players want to go to places where they. Win, win right like, like i don't, don't blame anybody you know? for that <laughs> yeah you know i mean there's you know alabama is a amazing football program because players want to go you know great the great players want to go and play they, and win championships yeah <laughs> so, so it's just, exciting not, yeah. But yeah. So yeah, we wanted to. We forgot to show this table uh, in the prior video, so we really wanted to make sure we went over this and showed this to y'all, uh, so we could kind of demonstrate it. another way to look at Reactable and uh, like more uh, the formatting side of it that you can you can do. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah. So definitely follow us on Twitter. Uh, my name's Ellis Hughes. You can find me on Twitter at Ellis underscore Hughes. And I'm Patrick Ward. You can find me on Twitter at, at OSP Patrick. You can contact the both of us at tidy.explained at gmail.com or you can hit us up on Twitter as well at, at tidy underscore explained. All right. Thank you so much for joining us again this week and keep on exploring your world.